Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to the Marvel Manor Farm. Um, just leaving the shop here, I'm going back to the fields. Um, I'm gonna start seeding, actually, and I wanna do this a little bit uh, better than usual. I wanna do... I'm gonna do a couple of... Uh, Headlands goes in the end. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna do uh, up and down the field, and I'm gonna put a worker on it. Um, but uh, I would like to do a bit more and much better job at... Uh, um, actually, I even feel like doing the whole field myself uh, with uh, seeding. This is a pretty big seeder, and the field is huge. But I wanted to do all the nice stuff with the ridge markers. And actually, I'm gonna start like that. I might do it off screen, but I will see. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in the mood for doing that. Now I am. Um, you know what? Let's start on this. Let's check the size of the field first. So it's not... It's weirdly shaped. You know what? No, I, I, I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna... For now, I'm just gonna uh, put it on worker. Right. Uh, so what we need to do now, we need to choose what we're gonna seed here. Oof, this is a big one. I would like to go with canola. But I'm not sure. Look guys, okay, so first things first. Uh, field. Uh, field number 18 is the biggest field we have. Um, obviously it's gonna give us a lot of profit, whatever we seed. The field number 15 is, is ours. Uh, let me just check this for... No, I'm just checking where we uh, mowed the grass and what the growth stage on it was it, but it was the last growth stage, so it was fully grown. Um, we need to harvest this field as soon as possible. It's pretty late. No, it's medium. It's medium. We will have time. We have time. Um, uh, what? Do, uh, but still, I'm gonna do harvesting uh, now. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you where we are now, where we stand. Uh, first, let me see this. I'm gonna choose. Yeah. So the the field has to be plowed and limed, and lime is something that we actually can do right now. So let's do liming first then. Right, uh, I'm gonna get the liming machine and I'll meet you back in one second. Here we go, here we go. I got a limer. Now officially this machine is called a limer. It's not lime spreader, it's not a spreader. When it has lime in there, it's a limer. Um, first time ever I'm using the, the wings, the, the booms, the, the spreading thing, because I'm not really sure if it works or not, but technically Technically, uh, we should, uh, I think it's using the lime as fast as without it, but uh, now it's spreading much wider. So I think this is useful for money saving, even though it costs 8,000 wow, euros. We should switch that to pounds. I will, I will, I will. Trust me, I will. Right, uh, so the limer, uh, I'm going to do a couple of rows of limer. We have to extend it. Yes, we are extending it. I'm gonna start on this field. I'm not even sure how big the the spread is with this one, so let's try it. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I tried to reload the uh, seeds, uh, placeable seed refill point, and for some reason it didn't work for me. I do not know why. <clears throat> so, um, uh, I will try it with the lime. I'm pretty sure that it might be issue with the uh, cedar I ha that I have. Nah, that's for some reason it won't load. I'm going to try it as soon as we're empty with this one. I'm going to try to load the lime uh, with this limer. Limer, that's official name. So, uh, I'm going to try with this limer to see if it's going to work. Um, if it doesn't, uh, I'm gonna have to go drive up and down the field. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna put the worker on it yet. I'm probably gonna put the worker on it off the screen, off screen for the, um, uh, for, let's turn it off now. Oh, oh, oh. I wanna go, I wanna go and, uh. Uh, do this side first because I would like to start seeding and I'm gonna need 
um, this area limed first before I start seeding. Now I'm, I'm gonna spread this lime whatever we have here in storage and I'm gonna try to buy the um, uh, lime station uh, next to our silos and I'm gonna try to, to test it, use it, whatever we need to do. Um, I know I'm wasting a lot here, but I don't really like the tracked tractors. I know I, they're really cool and all, but it's really hard for me to uh, control them properly, even with the steering wheel. But it's fine, it's fine. Let's let's, let's be wasteful a bit. Um, until I install the GPS mod, then I'm gonna be the king. And then it's gonna be all good. All good. Right, um, let's go one more time up the field. Oh yeah, by the way, I put on the limer. Limer. Um, I put the narrow wheels, which probably I shouldn't have done. I think the, the, the because I put the narrow wheels because um, I was thinking like, yeah, I'm gonna spread fertilizer and the, if the plants are, oh, why did you do that? Limer, you're acting up again. Um, if I have to fertilize the plants where they are not in the first growth stage, uh, I'm gonna be way, I'm gonna be crushing them. So I have to switch anyway to narrow tires. But then I was like, yeah, but I can still fertilize them with the liquid fertilizer which we have, and it has narrow tires. So I should have uh, kept the wider tires because uh, for field without any crops, it's better, much better to use. Um, uh, uh, white tires, the wider as possible, uh, so we uh, compress the field as less as possible. So I'm gonna turn around here one more time, actually I'm almost done here. I'm gonna stop now, I'm gonna go to the edge of the field and I'm gonna try to do a headland there first so we don't, uh, so we have a bit more space to turn and I'm gonna try to reload this limer. <laughs> there you go, it's catching up. I hope you guys are gonna start calling this a limer again. Again, oh, for the first time. Oh, as far as I know, I invented it. So, dibs on the limer. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do a headland here and we're gonna try to place the lime refill station um, just next to this silo here. So, let's see how this is gonna work out. Fine, 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 turn it off. Right. Right. So, um, fold the limer uh, and let's start buying. So, we have to go to the houses, miscellaneous and limer. Lime station, sorry, for the limer. So, I don't know which way it should be turned. We have this ventilation here that you can see, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't go in there. And then, on the other hand, we have some kind of well, this grab here is probably just for opening and closing the the valve or whatever it, we use to, to shut off the supply of lime to a limer. Right. Um, well, I don't know. Let's try it. There, huge thing there. Right, okay. Limer, make us proud. So let's check it. We are down to 360 euros. Yeah, there you go. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it here and oh, I'm gonna leave limer here. I'm gonna start um, cultivating the field. Uh, sorry, uh, seeding the field. Now, what we're gonna seed? I'm leaning towards uh, soy, uh, canola. Canola is something I considered uh, for the last few weeks. It's uh, might be my future favorite crop. Uh, why? Because it requires less seed than anything else. Uh, so I kind of started liking it. Now, um, it is more or less priced. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's check the prices. It is more or less priced the same. So we have here oats. Oats are a bit more expensive now, which is nice to see, but not so much. Uh, sunflower soybean. They're they're still a bit more expensive, but I don't know. I, I should I go for soybeans or canola? I do not know. I'm not going with these three because we have field of oats there. It's we're gonna harvest it. Um, we're probably gonna start on it today, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna do up and down the field now. Uh, how I'm gonna do this? Uh, well, 
if I just continue going on like this, it's probably not gonna look good. You know what? I'm just gonna cut it off here for a second. I'm gonna do a little bit more liming. Liming, it's a word. And uh, I'm just gonna see you in a second. There we go, I done it. <laughs> I limed the whole field. Uh, you can see the time stamp, uh, stamp on the right hand side. It took me like half an hour, 45 minutes or something like that. I'm just gonna leave the limer, pay attention, limer here. And I'm gonna start, plonk, I'm gonna start sitting. Um, I'm just gonna do up and down the field and I'm gonna switch to, uh, switch to harvesting because we need some income from this uh, on one hand. On the other hand, we need, um, we need to get uh, new crops in that field. We need to start earning money. Uh, grass is um, something that is not our priority right now. We still need, uh, uh, it's gonna be huge baling session at one point uh, because we're gonna be baling, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're gonna be baling uh, grass and uh, straw at the same time. I mean, okay, not grass, but still. Um, but for now, I'm gonna start on this side because it's, um, I don't know, it looks more straight. But anyway, I'm gonna start like this, uh, turn it on, uh, ridge marker here, lower this, and no, uh, lift, I planted the wrong thing, I don't want to go with the wheat, I need to go with, where are you, no, Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go with. Oh, darn it. Um, this looks pretty on um, field. No, no, soybean, soybeans. Decided. Only took me like three minutes to decide, but fine. Right. So let's try to do there, like because of the imperfections. I know, I know, it's really hard to, to even imagine imperfections of the game. You can see. You can kind of find the follow-up line uh, that you can keep to be kind of straight up and down the field. And probably the worker will follow the same um, the same path. So I'm going to go up and down the field here. Soybeans, obviously, uh, the thing we're planting at this time. It's the most expensive crop, more or less. I need to recheck my notes. But more or less, it should be as fruitful or yielding as um, soybeans. Uh, but we'll see. So, guys, we spread limes. Um, I didn't plow it. The reason why I didn't plow it, it was already cultivated. So, plowing it and cultivating it again, uh, I don't think that would be worthwhile. So, yeah. Worker? When did I have a worker? Oh, I tested the, the directions of the... Um, of the lime on this field, uh, the way I, I just wanted to see if they have multi-angle <clears throat> terrain and um, how the worker follows the patterns. So this is few times me pressing the higher worker button and that's the worker. All three pounds worth. Oh yeah, by the way, I switched to miles and the pounds, but I left the hectares because I'm not really sure if they are using hectares in UK or are they using the acres. Okay, let's go back. We need a different ridge marker. This one. Let's try to turn around. Okay, this is where this uh, tractor is perfect. Turning around. Look at these guys. Perfect. It can turn on a dime. Okay, let's continue on. I'm going to follow up this way. And I'm just going to let it, just before we finish, I'm going to go and let it go to go on the worker <laughs> perfect looks like it snowed season's mode everybody yes looks like it snowed um fortunately didn't no, no season snow dice not yet uh, we are uh, waiting for the season's mode we are waiting for the shamrock valley to come back here we are waiting for more nice maps australian ones i would like to see a really nice function australian map that's a that's a that, that would be amazing map for multiplayer okay let's check it here yeah we're doing a grand job here okay all is well all is well on our uh marl manor farm mmf okay 
Um, right. So yeah, this is pretty efficient. Uh, the the stripes or the the route we chose, uh, I believe, should be one of the, if not the longest, well, the longest continuous kind of line up and down the field. Um, the, it's not technically the longest, but uh, it's it's pretty close. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna let it fix itself uh, or worker does the better job than I do so I'm just gonna put it on a higher worker here uh, so he can correct all the little issues or like uh, imperfections that we did he already removed the ridge marker so as soon as he comes to the end I'm just gonna do jump out okay don't drive me over run me over okay go 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 right uh, we're grabbing um, we're grabbing a harvester and we are going to start harvesting the field um i'm gonna do a two headlands and i'm probably gonna switch to worker um i'm gonna grab the john deere and uh, we're gonna be off to do carting at least can we enter this way i don't think so there doesn't seem to have a door on that side. it has a door yeah it has a door but it's not good to enter that side okay let's go let's go let's go oh it's is it attached no dice here we go attached now Right, okay, so we need to go and unload uh, this header just next to that field there. Luckily, we sent the fent to go on the other side of the field, so we're gonna just leave it be. Um, we're gonna start harvesting the field and let him uh, continue uh, planting, seeding. Seeding in this case, it's not planting. Licky, get your grip together. Or something like that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, I'm already enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. When I saw that grass field, I was worried for a moment, but no problems anymore. That has been dealt with. Okay, so I'm going to do somewhere here a bit further down this field so it doesn't bother the fence. And I think this is grand. Detach. Go this way a bit. Oh, unfold. There we go. Uh, here we go. This is 7.6 meter header. Now, uh, yeah, okay. Um, it doesn't seem like the biggest one. Like, looks like this farm can use a bigger one. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Do we have chop straw on? I want to disable straw swat. Okay. I think we should disable it. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's uh, remove this and see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do two headlands, or at least on the first headland, I'm gonna do chop straw. Um, unfortunately, uh, Giants didn't implement that uh, this increases fertilizing stage, unfortunately, because I think it should kind of count. And now that they lower the number of fertilizing stages that you can do, only two, previously it was three. Now this chop straw mode, if it ever comes back, it would be kind of overkill because already it's half car half fertilized the whole field just because of the chop straw. But uh, yeah, on the other hand, it forces people to do more bailing, so yeah, I kind of like that part as well. Right, so I'm not sure if you're gonna make it all the way around this field. It's not the biggest field in the world, but uh, let's see. When we get to the, it's kind of squarish. So technically, when we get to the end of this field, this is kind of like one eighth of the field. It should be a quarter of the field when you get to the end of this um, row here. And uh, if we have under two and a half thousand, we're going to be grand. But if we have over, we're going to have to uh, see what we're going to do with the tractor. Uh, we're fine for now. Everything is fine. Um, I'm kind of thinking now about that uh, cedar uh, and uh, inability to load from the um, seed tanks. That's kind of unfortunate. So we're going to see what we're going to do about that. Uh, but it's, a, it's a huge cedar. It's perfect for this farm. I wouldn't go any bigger than this, but I wouldn't go smaller either. I mean, unless it's a worker, <laughs> you can then work as much as you want. Um, We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen with that. L luckily, farm is not, fa uh, sorry, the shop is not far away, two and a half thousand, more or less. This should be grand, we, we should be okay, we should be okay. Now, on the map here, on the Google map on the uh, bottom left-hand side, we have 
um, tree line or trees in this place here, which we don't have on this map, which is, uh, it's fine. I have no opinion on it whatsoever. Let's just put it on cruise control here for a moment. There we go, perfect. Putting my fanny back in the chair. I was slipping there for a moment. Right. Uh, third way full. So we, I believe we should be grand on filling it once on the headland. And uh, yeah, I think I should do two headlands. Then I'm gonna... You know what I'm also thinking? Uh, we'll see how much loan we can get. Uh, but I'm definitely leaning towards um, a square baler. I don't use it enough. In all my let's plays I use a round baler. Um, and the round baler, yeah, it would be okay for this kind of field. But uh, it would be more professional to have a square one. And, yet, and also, uh, I don't use uh, the, the square bale loader much. But it's kind of really expensive. And I'm thinking of going back from the tactic I did in uh, FS17. Which was the um, uh, four stack. Uh, the most unused piece of equipment in the whole farming simulator family. Uh, and I kind of like it because when you have a front loader that can grab three bales it's extremely fun it's extremely extremely fun at least for me to use that four stack you stack three bales on top of each other and then use the big uh, front loader to grab all three of them and plonk it on the trailer attach it you're grand we'll still see um uh, it's not gonna be anytime soon. I mean, next episode. Uh, we, I'm not sure if we're gonna start bailing yet. Uh, we need to start on the silage as soon as possible. As soon as this field is sold or uh, put in the storage, uh, we're starting on the silage. Uh, silage is the most important thing we need to do now because it takes it's gonna take some time to uh, to, to ferment the, the silage. So. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking, no, it's gonna be enough. I'm thinking if I do two headlands as chop straw, will we have enough straw for ourselves? But I think we will. We need it for the bedding and we need it for the. Uh, let's do a sharp turn now. Uh, maybe I should have stopped and switch directions, but I can do that on the next pass. Right, okay, we have, um, yeah, uh, bedding and food, but uh, it's only gonna be one straw in the bedding and uh, oh in the um, food mixer if even that we can always go back to uh, food without straw i call it a filler i'm not really sure if that thing is like just to, to, to make cows feel less hungry it could be good for digestion i'm not really so sure maybe yes maybe no uh but if you mix it with uh, with uh, silage and hay they seem to like it and not only in the game, I, I, I know for a fact that they do it in real life as well. So, I, I, I might, we'll see. We'll see how many bales of what kind we're going to have, uh, how much silage we're going to have. And uh, we're going to decide what's going to be the best course of action. If we don't have enough bales, uh, we're definitely not going to... Uh, we're definitely not going to use straw for food. Uh, but if we do... Uh, Okay, we're almost full here. Okay, and yoink. You know what? I might actually bring the trailer now. Okay, uh, guys, quick break. Oh, cut and jump cut, and I'll see you back in a second. Right, 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 right. We have it here, but we forgot to put a pipe out. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on this side here because it's close to the exit. And, turn it off, harvester turned off also, I was literally there for like a few seconds. Okay, uh, on, pipe out, turn on the harvester, let's start with this, and we're gonna return then, there we go, now let's get back. And let's start unloading. Here we go. I'm gonna put it in the rear axle so it doesn't create a lot of pressure on the trailer, which doesn't have any sense to do in the farming simulator. But in real life, you would do it like this. You would load, unload, like let's say a few tons on the rear axle, and then a few tons on the front axle. 
and then the rest of it all in the back. In the back. Um, this is just uh, spreading the weight, and not only on the rear axle but also on a tractor, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't damage the rear axle. But anyway, it's just a game, but uh, it's something I like to do. Anyway, guys, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here and continue playing on my own off screen. Uh, but there you go. We had uh, three chores today. Usually I like to keep it short and uh, this is going to be a bit longer one. Uh, so there you go. Liming with a limey, uh, limer uh, seating with a uh, perfect seater that doesn't fit under those um, seat tanks. And uh, I think perfectly sized, perfectly sized seater, seater. And I think this is perfectly sized harvester for our farm. I'm going to enjoy every second of harvesting any of these fields. Guys, uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a nasty or a nice comment in the comment section. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you again in the next one. Bye bye.